So let's cover the spine. Now I want to make sure that the paper wraps around and is really solid here because that's going to be holding these covers in place. And my 12 by 12 paper isn't quite high enough to properly wrap over. So I'm going to be using these little inserts. So my spine is going to look like this. I'm going to have my inserts going around the edge from here to the back cover. And then my paper will cover just like that. So I'll have a little bit of a little border black along the top and the bottom edges. So my inserts are ready and these measure about one and three quarter inches. And what you need to do is measure and see how far in you can put your insert underneath the rings. So I can go in just past the halfway mark like that. So I scored my insert just past that halfway mark. And when you score, make another score line about one eighth of an inch further away. And that way you can fold your insert like that and you'll have this little flat section here that will allow it to fold around the thickness of your cover and that way it'll fit better. So that's going to go like that and it'll fit around the, the edge of the cover. So that's for the top and I've got one for the bottom and I've already got my two-sided tape on the back here. So this one will fit here. Make sure that if there's any of the vinyl sh showing that it covers your vinyl. And I'm going to be attaching it starting at about two and a half inches on this side and it's going to extend two and a half inches on that side. So it's just level with the start of the uh, of the ring ring thingy. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start removing some of the tape. And I think I'll just partially remove it. That way if I need to, to reposition it, it'll be easier. I just want to get that underneath this section here. here. Make sure it's nice and flush like that. slide my bone folder under here. Make sure this is nice and flat. And I can fold it over and attach the other side. It's a little bit awkward working with the and binder because you can't lay the the cover flat on the outside like that. That's where that Fold this up like that. Okay, so my first insert is on there. And let's do the same thing on the other side. So that's going to go.
press. Now on this side I want to make sure that these line up properly because I'm going to be covering that with my spine paper. But I'm going to put a little border along the edge anyway so if it's not perfectly lined up it's not that big a deal. You want to line up as much as possible. box under my album to make it easier to work with so that it's more level. So now I'm going to attach my spine. I've decided I want this pattern on the outside. So I put some two-sided tape along the inside edges here. I put two layers or two strips because my tape is, is thin. And then I put some more strips of tape across the middle. On the album, because there's going to be a lot of movement around the spine area, I put some two-sided tape on the left edge of the cover and along the right edge of the spine here and then on the left edge of the spine here and the right edge of this cover there. Now if you have a, a pattern, a directional pattern, make sure that your album is facing in the proper direction. It's not upside down. Okay, This is my front cover. So I'm going to position my paper and I want these edges to match as much as possible and I center it top to bottom like that. So I'm going to start just by removing a little bit of the tape on one edge and that will allow me to position it before I permanently tape this down. So I can move it around before taping it if need be. Okay, so that's good like that. So now I'm going to pull the rest of the tape backing off this edge. And now that I've got my first edge taped down, I can lift this up and remove the rest of the tape backing from the album and from my cover paper. Now the reason I use my tape is because I've got plastic in here and my, my glue wouldn't adhere very well. Now I can flatten this out. Okay. 
I can carefully lift up my covers like that and that will form the crease in the album. So there's my spine. Now I'm going to put a little border. I'm going to punch a border and attach it on this edge and then I'm going to decorate my front cover. And I'm also going to add my paper liner on the inside of the album there and then on this page. Now I'm going to cover my inside and I'll worry about the outside after. So I've got my pieces cut. This will fit here and I have just that little border all around. Make sure that your edge covers that little edge up at the top bottom and on the side. And then this piece will fit here like that and it's going to cover any of the vinyl that's in there. And then I punched a border along the edge of my inside cover piece and that's going to go like that. I'm going to remove the tape from the very edge that fits along the three ring attachment. And I slide that under like that. as far as it goes like that. Make sure it's straight and then you can press down. Now I can lift and remove the rest of the tape backing. got my my spine piece. I use the same paper as the back for the spine. Now because there's going to be a lot of movement here where the covers are open and closed, I did put some tape around the edges but I think I'm going to use some glue. And I'm going to apply glue to my paper and along these edges here. Make sure you don't go too high because you don't want the glue to show. be on here. Whip that off right away.
So now I'm going to maybe I'll put a little bit of glue on this edge here. And this edge. Slide this under, and I want it to line up with the other paper that I already adhered. And you want this straight, should line up with this edge here, like that. nice and straight. I'm going to let that dry a bit. Now as it dries, press it inside the crease like that to form the crease. Now make sure this is nice and flat. Do the same thing with this crease. I've decided to use this paper and I punched the border along the right edge and I'm going to size it so that it fits from the very left edge of my cover up to close to the first fold line but make sure it doesn't go over the fold line because you don't want it to interfere when you close the cover. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this side here because I've got that punched border and I couldn't tape all the way to the edge. So I've got my tape put on here and I'm going to start by just removing a bit of the tape backing and I'm going to position my page down, my, my cover liner. Make sure it's nice and straight. That's pretty good. I can continue removing the tape backing. You can use glue for your cover liners if you prefer. I just find the tape is easy to use.
want to make sure that my punched border stays down. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there. Now you can also punch some holes in here and put some eyelets and use that to attach closure, for example chain and toggle. Or if you want to, before you cover your album, you can always put some ribbon in there. But this is quite a large album so I don't think I would go too big on the closure. I'll probably just end up leaving it as a book like that. So I hope these tips helped you out in covering your albums.